In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up your Easy HD 3D workstation and plug in all the cords, cables, and set up your components. The first thing that you're going to do is take the workstation and set it up on its matching table stand, and then your projector most of the time can just sit right on top of the workstation here. Like for this setup, let's say we're front projecting, this is how your setup's going to be. Now we need to connect the power. So take your power cable, and on the side here, you've got our uh, pre-wired power jack. You just simply plug it in, and if we go right here, we've got ourselves our power. And uh, the power conditioner also comes with a light here, so you get a little uh, mini work light, which is great. Now it also has an AC outlet in the front of it. So we will include also a small cable that you can use for your projector or an outside device. You can plug right into the front jack, plugs right into the projector right here, and now you're set up with your projector power. Nice, easy, and compact. Now the next thing we're going to do is this system includes the optional monitor. And what we do is we just take a really nice slimline uh, DVD player that has a video input. So we're just going to use this right here. And it has a chargeable battery or you can plug in the power for it. And then we take the video output from the Blu-ray DVD player. And this will allow you to monitor the Blu-ray DVD when you're setting up. It allows you to queue it up and do those kinds of things before you send it out through the projector. So right here on the side of the case, we've got Blu-ray video output. Plug it right into there. And then on the side of your monitor here, you've got your video input. And you just want to make sure that it's selected to video in. Once you do that, you're all set up with this. And then when you turn on your uh, 3D Blu-ray DVD player, you'll be able to see the image in the monitor. The next thing to do is to hook up the projector. Now to do that, all you do is take your DVD output, and here on the side of the case, we've got it coming from the 3D Blu-ray converter. And we'll talk about these uh, more thoroughly in another video, but just take your HDMI out there, plug the HDMI into your projector, and we are 100% set up with all your video. For your audio, you've got two options. You've got two RCA outputs, and you've got two XLR outputs. Those are coming from this preamp right here. So through those, perhaps you might want to use the RCAs for an FM transmitter, or that's the way you connect with your speakers, or you can use the uh, XLRs and uh, just control your power that way. Um, on the other side here now, if you had outside devices, we have two audio inputs here. You have audio one and audio two, which are connected to the preamp in the front of the case. So you would simply plug your outside devices into here, select those inputs marked on front of the preamp, and then if you had a video with that, you would just plug the video directly into the back of the projector, and you're set up with that. If you had an internet, let's say you wanted to do Netflix or something, just plug your internet cable directly here, or just access the Wi-Fi feature built into the DVD player, and you can watch that through the player. So quick basic, easy setup. This is how easy it is to get started and set up and going. In the next video, we'll show you some more details in setting up the 3D Blu-ray and 2D to 3D conversion.